This is SBU TV. Hello and welcome to SBU TV. I'm Shannon Shepard. And I'm Connor Mooney. This is what a student felt while driving behind the Riley Center last spring. Today, a much smoother ride. His body was the first to be carried out of the rubble, labeling him as victim 0001. What we do is really honor him and our own Irish roots as a university uh, by studying the reconciliation process. Weeks after receiving the news that they were named the number one college radio station in the nation, according to the Princeton Review, WSBU was hit with news they are being fined by the Federal Communications Commission. Last year, you may not have known that St. Bonaventure had a women's rugby team. This year, the legends can call themselves state champions. We've come from literally nothing, and we've really made a lot of ourselves, so it's really, it's really exciting. Whether it's studying, eating healthy foods, or working out, staying active and taking part in all that Bonaventure has to offer is a big part of what makes this dog the fan he is. I train as hard as the rest of them. There's game days, but there's no off days. Connor Mooney, senior journalism and mass communications major, is this year's Mr. SBU. He had this to say regarding his preparation. Don't get any sleep. You know, you want you want your bones. You want your cheekbones popping, jaw bones popping. You know, um, and as much uh, body hair as you possibly can get on, I think is is the real key to uh, success here. The Olean and Allegheny wind turbine project is once again on hold. It's very much up in the air whether Everpower uh, will be allowed to go through Chipmunk Road and other parts of the town. Jack Butler never played organized football until he came to St. Bonaventure in the late 1940s. Today he's the school's first pro football hall of famer. I never thought about it, I never thought I'd be here, but the fact that I'm here, I love it, and it means an awful lot to me, and it means a hell of a lot, pardon me, it means a heck of a lot to all my family. Flash forward to 2012 and you'll find things are much different. You know, it's going to give them ideas, maybe bad dreams, something like that, but it's not the reality. You don't have the sense of smell, the sense of being there. The development of the new business school has some people concerned, but not for the reasons you may think. Set to be located between Plasman Hall and the Riley Center, protesters are concerned that the new location will cut off the view of the mountains in the valley from the ground level, including Merton's Heart and the Grotto. Is the building aesthetically pleasing? Yes, it is. Is it as aesthetically pleasing as the grotto and the view of the valley across the river? I don't think so. Owner Susan Mara and her husband have decided to stop serving dinner and change the building's name from the Old Library Restaurant to the Old Library Events. It enables us to be um, more efficient and effective in one area rather than being spread so thinly. Two years ago, Shannon Berry would have never dreamt that the little blonde girls her family fostered would eventually become part of her family. I wish somebody would have told me ahead of time that it was going to be the best thing our family has ever been through. It's Starting in the fall of 2012, Boardmanville and Ivers J. Norton Elementary Schools will close down and move students into Washington West and Eastview, which are likely to follow in the same path. Our population is decreasing and it's not economically sound to maintain buildings with that, that are high cost. Bill, yeah, there is some sheen. I'm done with not giving people the camcorder. All right, well, I'll I won't. I won't. back on it before I get <laughs> Yo, listen. I'll be in Listen, you all should certainly be excited up in Olean and at St. Bonaventure. You know, the nation will be watching him and tracking him this year. Put my shorts on the same way everyone else does. So. It's Duquesne. Here's Nicholson. Top of the key. Finds right open for three in the win. Got it! With one point nine seconds to go, man. Has Kloof open because it's a Nicholson instead for the three and the tie. Got it! Andrew Nicholson! Wow. And we might be going to double on Nicholson. He'll take a three. He's got it! Andrew Nicholson with 32. Well, they're going to let the clock run out. That'll well, do it. St. Bonaventure earned this one. Andrew Nicholson, 32 points, 13 rebounds. And the Bonnies are likely headed straight to the quarterfinals of the A-10 tournament in Atlantic City. We're going to play three games and win all of them. That, that's it. <laughs> I really had a dream that we won the A-10 championship. St. Bonaventure's going to dance for the first time since the decade began. Some believed an NCAA tournament bid was possible, but even the Bonnies themselves are surprised how they ended up earning their bid by winning the Atlantic 10 championship. 
Once the players were introduced, the crowd anxiously watched the live bracket selection to see where their bodies were headed next. Everyone in attendance erupted when ESPN announced they would be a five seed for the tournament. No matter where you go in Olean or Allegheny, you'll be sure to find signs of support for the Bonnies. Locals have high expectations for both Bonaventure teams in their respective tournaments. This is unbelievable. Go Bonnies. Go Bonnies. <laughs> Congratulations, best wishes, and go Bonnies. Go Bonnies! Florida State survives 66-63. The hard-fought loss to Florida State was a disappointing end to an unforgettable ride. After a record-shattering season, the Bonnies hit a brick wall last Sunday in the Sweet 16, following the top-seeded Notre Dame 79-35 in Raleigh. The Bonnies believe this year's team will forever be remembered as the one that brought the program to national prominence. We didn't have a national reputation. We've become a pretty good regional story, and maybe people within women's basketball knew a little bit about uh, the success we were continually having, but um, the fact that we did it on national stage and uh, the fact that, that people all of a sudden knew the names of our players, that's something that can't be replaced. For SBU TV. For SBU TV. For SBU TV. For SBU TV. For SBU TV, I'm Kate Pelzinski. I'm Mike Vitrin. I'm Megan Sidori. I'm Mike Coliani. And I'm Megan Annis. For the rest of us here in the Coop Lab, thanks for watching.